Right. Okay. What I'm going to show here is how to um, um, rip a disc to the MP3 HD format using EAC, Exact Audio Copy. Now, if you're used to this program, that will be better because it's quite it's quite involved. But um, if you're not, it's not too difficult either. Now, you you've got it there. That's the play. That's the uh, the ripper, Exact Audio Copy. You go to um, you could put a disc in there. You went to database get the CD information from remote free DB so that's done so I've got my stuff here now I'm gonna hit F11 F11 will show me um, go on the external compression now if you want to rip to um, mp3 HD you have to go use the define encoder here file extension is mp3 you have to go and find your mp3 hd encoder dot xe now on my system it's it's um w where i put all the the xes for in the flac folder i keep them there okay on exact audio copy so it's all there um in the flat folder but you can put it wherever you want just make sure that it's you browse to the right place and it's actually listed there. Now to get the mp3 encoder.exe you go to um, um, you need to download it first of all from um, this page here which is the uh, all for mp3.com now you, you click onto the uh, the win win up no the win sorry mp3 HD toolkit now you click onto that here and then let this went into my um let's have a look let's show you where it, where it goes download that's the uh m p three h d okay it's all there so I've got it there all right you take that encoder and you put that into uh this this flat folder in the um in the uh the exact audio copy it's all okay so now the next thing you need to remember is to uh, put 320 if you want 320 but you can put anything less than 320 you can put anything higher this is for the lossy part the lossy part of the um, the mp3 HD because the um, it's a, a hybrid format and it has got a lossy part and a lossless part the lossless part you don't concern yourself with you just leave that 320 as the highest and you can go down from there but not up from there uh, you unclick, uncheck, add ID tag. It doesn't want it. And then the the only thing we've got to do is the uh, the command line option. Now we need to have that as well. Now this I'm going to put on the screen so you can see it clearly. Um, there we go. Copy that. I'll show you what it looks like on here. Uh, ooh, 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 accessories for me. That's back. Is that? So this is the code you enter into your um, your program, including p uh, sorry your additional command line option. This is the stuff you want there. Now you can find this from the site here. Okay, uh, into the when you go. I think it's in this one here, read me. Right, let's have a look, see if it's down there. Uh, frequently asked questions. That must be the other the other bit, so let's have a look at that. It must be in the license. No, it's not in the license, so why did I find it? I can't remember now. Anyway, it's there. You've got it there. Uh, it's got to be in the README then. Let's take a look at that again. Oh, yes, it's there. Okay, sorry, I've missed it. It's all there. Okay, so you can just copy and paste it from there. So let me explain that again so it's clear. You go there, you go to the README, and somewhere two-thirds down the page, you've got the 
the line of the additional command line. So you've got that in there, it's all ready. So we can OK that. Then say right click on this one here, copy, compress this one. We'll put that on the desktop. File name to be ignored, OK. So let's have a look, see what we've got there. Uh, see all this out of the way, so you can see what's going on. So at the moment, it's a Wi-Fi, of course, the way it usually does. It's a Wi-Fi because it's simply um, ripping the track. Just want to show you the whole process and then how, how, it's, uh, how it plays in um, the Fraunhofer player. Okay, so we just wait for that to finish. One thing you mustn't forget to do when you use MP3 HD is to um, accept the agreement that's. Um, given by the um of uh, the frown offer people give you so for example you um when you've got okay now it's doing the you see the conversion you've got the uh the wife file and the mp3 file you've got both of them for a little while while it's converting and then it's going to leave us just with the mp3 um hd file and we'll play that in uh, two different players to show you the difference between the lossy and the lossless. A few more seconds, I would have thought. Bing, here we go. So we've got this is now. If you, if you right click on that and look at the properties, this is just a two minute song. Um, but you can see it's 11 megabytes. And if you look here, it says 320. It doesn't actually show you that it's, um, but, nah. Okay, so that's all you got to do with the, uh, let me just show you again the F11. So show you the user define encoder, MP3 there. Then you go and find your, where you've put your encoder, your additional command line, and I showed you where to find it. And unclick this one, and then that's it, you've done it, okay? So we don't need that anymore, can get rid of that. Now you've got your thing here. Now you've got the, uh, this is the MP3 player they give you uh, on the um, on the site. Let's take a look, it's there, so you can download it from here. Uh, this one here. New, yeah, if you're using a Mac you can also get it. There's a player also for the Mac. Right, so this is the one, we've got it there. Put it into the player. Okay, and it tells you here that it's an HD file and it's playing uh, at about 525 um, bits. So we know we know it's lossless this one. Okay. All right. So if I uh, stop this for a second, if you were to play it in a player that does not. Um, doesn't deal with uh it will do uh, so let's have a look I'm playing it um I'm using a Linux system it makes no difference whatsoever. Um there you go you've got Louis Armstrong and if I play that see it gives it a three twenty kbps it's playing it's playing the lossy version here because it doesn't read HD if you want to read HD, you go into their their player, which there has for a second crashed. <laughs> so let's try that. Reload it, and we'll add a file here. I have a file from desktop. Here we go. And it tells us 
that it's um, HD there. So it's very clearly. Okay, so that's, that's that's what you have to do with this one. Do not forget when you first get it, you need to be very careful about that because otherwise it won't work at all. You need to go to your where your your encoder is. Uh, sorry, not in this one. It's in the. Uh, uh, where is it now? Let's have a look. It's in. Uh, Browse the C drive. You need to make sure you've done this this little thing here, which is to go into your. This is where I keep my thing. You need to right click on that. And this one could have right click on it, and then make sure uh, on a on a Windows system it will ask you to uh, agree to the. Uh, Crown offer agreements. You need to do that. It's an interesting format because it does lossy and it does lossless at the same time. I'm, I'm only aware of this format that does that. Okay, there you go. That's the, that's basically the what you need to know for the uh, to use this format.